Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Fallout 76 news and controversy. And that's right. It finally happened, boys. We have microtransactions coming to the Atomic Shop. And this time, they're not just cosmetic, my dudes. Heck no. Let's jump right in. So if you guys have been following the series of missteps that Bethesda has taken throughout this whole launch, you guys might remember that a couple of days ago I talked about stealth nerves and how Bethesda with their latest update decided to make the game more grindy. And one of the comments that I made in that video was that I was hoping that uh, this wasn't any sort of foreshadowing regarding microtransactions like gameplay microtransactions. And I said something to the effect of, I hope this is not a deliberate attempt to make the game more grindy just to sell those microtransactions and add them to the Atomic Shop. And uh, when I said that, I was thinking of Call of Duty because if you guys remember, Call of Duty had a very, very smart strategy in terms of marketing, which is that when they released the game, um, they did not add microtransactions or they did not have the store available at the time so that it wouldn't impact reviews. Uh, and then they made it available so like like a month later or two weeks later or something like that so that's a smart move and I thought I hope this is not trying to pull the same crap right here of course we have the atomic shop but that's mostly just cosmetic stuff I'm talking about gameplay microtransactions loot boxes is what I'm talking about and uh, sadly I have to inform you guys that it seems like Bethesda is adding some microtransactions into the game that would indeed affect gameplay. I think for the most part we would all be okay with cosmetic microtransactions, that's fine if you want to buy a hat, a skin for a power armor or maybe a gun, that's fine with me. But Based on uh, some data mined information that uh, was made available through the subreddit, it seems like the future microtransactions are going to affect the gameplay. So we have this thread right here and these guys decided to go into the game and basically just data mine a bunch of changes that came after the latest update. So just in case you guys are not aware, in the most recent patch, they made a lot of references to launch boxes being added. So first of all, the word uh, launch box in itself is very similar to loot box, which is not, <laughs> I'm not comfortable with that, all right? Uh, but it seemed like it was gonna be something just just natural, they were gonna change the brown bags that you get for, for loot. They were gonna change those for loot boxes. I mean, lunch boxes, you see? You see the problem right there? However, it seems like some users noted something strange about these lunch boxes because they were somehow related to the Atomic Shop. And the question is, what does a lunch box have to do with the Atomic Shop? Well, uh, they answer that question. You see, every single item that is listed for purchase in the Atomic Shop has this naming convention that has to start with ATX. Possibly a reference to microtransactions, but maybe it means atomic shop microtransactions. It doesn't really matter. The point is that uh, this is sort of like a tag that is associated to every item that is listed, listed for purchase. Yeah. And uh, what these guys noticed was that these lunch boxes, which were initially thought to be just a, just a container for loot in-game, uh, just to replace the brown bag that you get. Uh, it's just just something minor, just a minor change. They were listed as ATX items in the Atomic Shop. So here we have all the items, all the new items that had the ATX and lunchbox tag in their form ID. And if you guys see this, the full name for this one is gift bag and it says carry capacity bonus, fortify carry weight. That sounds like gameplay right there. And why would a gameplay effect be associated to a lunchbox listed in the Atomic Shop? Yeah. That right there is everything you need to know. Let's just keep going. ATX lunchbox creature spell plastic animals. The full name is plastic animals and it says yeah. fortify damage versus animals effect. So basically uh, it's a damage bonus. It says DMG bonus right there in the magnitude. Uh, another one, Form ID, ATX Lunchbox Hunger Spell. So much cake is the name. It says the description is too full. 
which sounds like one of the descriptions that you get when you're trying to apply a steam pack or when there's some sort of like effect if you go to the effects tab this would be this description that you would see there and the base effect is no hunger effect and there's a ton of these look at this balloons uh it says mutation fortify jump high so that's a mutation right there that they're going to implement via microtransactions. So basically one of the good mutations. Another one, Finger Trap. It says Fortify Damage versus Super Mutants. Uh, fortify Damage versus Ghoul. Uh, damage Bonus. Here's another one, Anti Acids. It says Resist Radiation Exposure. Noisemaker, Fortify Damage versus Robots. Um, no Thirst Effect. That's another one. That's the Thirsty Spell. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good name right there. And here's one of the most egregious ones. It says XP Bonus. The name is Sugar Rush. And it basically says uh, Effect 45 XP Bonus. So, you know, it seems that they're going to give you XP multipliers if you pay some money. And you know what that sounds to me like? It sounds to me like pay to win. <laughs> Especially in a multiplayer game. Not only is it a multiplayer game, it's a PvP game. It's a competitive game. Even though most players don't really engage in PvP, you have to accept that it's part of the game. And uh, XP bonuses in a multiplayer game is unacceptable. And uh, that's it. That, that's the end right there. XP bonuses, I'm out. It sounds like pay to win. And I hope... I hope this information is wrong. I hope maybe they added this... Uh, I mean, it's like there's no other explanation now that I think about it. I was going to say that maybe they just added this in the past, but no, this was just implemented in the latest uh, update. So there is no reason for this to be added unless they're going to implement gameplay microtransactions. Like there's no reason for this. And I think they're going to try to pull the same move that um, Treyarch pulled with Call of Duty. So... We're gonna have to wait and see what happens here. I'm not sure whether or not they know that we know that they added this and that we are suspicious. Uh, there are a couple of threads here saying, Bethesda, if you implement mutations that can be bought with money, I will stop playing this game. And this has 1000 upvotes. So it says this involves a lot of file diving and a lot of legwork that has done by uh, Despotag. This is the original poster. Uh, in regards to the changelog. So in the most recent patch, there was a lot of references added to lunch boxes. Uh, to some, this seemed like they were finally gonna add a lunch boxes to replace the brown bags and were gearing up for it. However, if you look at how they named their assets and other things associated with the lunch boxes, this looks a lot worse. All items in the atom shop are named with the prefix ATX in Fallout 76. Um, so, all right. So this is basically what we already know. The point is that there's a lot of people who are just vigilant here, just watching what they're going to do with all of these changes, because there's a reason why they added this. Um, in fact, the items are already in the game, they just haven't been deployed. What this guy is explaining here is that all of these items are in a temporary sale named something something something. So basically, the game has two different types of sales. It has external sales, which are areas on the map. And it also has internal sales, which basically means that uh, those are like self-contained areas that exist on their own like separate universe and what this guy is explaining is that uh, the fact that an item exists on a cell means that it's not a hypothetical state it's a real and usable item in the game at this point so of course i i didn't know this this was all explained by despotac so a uh, huge shout out to this guy for doing all the leg work here and uh here's a screenshot for you guys with the cell that um means that it, this basically means that the item is in the game and uh, it just hasn't been deployed but it's in game already so i think at this point it's reasonable to assume that uh, they are planning to deploy uh these lunch boxes quote unquote which are possibly loot boxes who knows and uh that would be even worse dude if this is not only a microtransaction but it's a loot box with a random number generator that defines what you're gonna get 
that's even worse. That's gambling, my dude. And if you guys are not aware of the in international discussion here, loot boxes are being regulated across the globe. We have we have multiple countries trying to regulate these, and uh, there's a big reason why the EA stock is going down. Well, there's multiple reasons for it. I'm sure that the fact that a lot of their games are not performing well that has something to do with it but one of the biggest reasons or one of the biggest factors in my opinion is the fact that a lot of governments are trying to regulate loot boxes which are essentially gambling and uh, since EA's hyperinflated price is all based on loot boxes uh, then uh, you can assume that there's gonna be a crash there and I hope Bethesda is not thinking of um, going down that path because Again, a lunchbox sounds a lot like a freaking loot box and it would be perfect in terms of branding. Just open a lunchbox and see what you get. So if these are microtransactions that affect gameplay like mutations, that's bad enough in and of itself. But if on top of that you have the fact that they decided to make lunchboxes loot boxes, oh boy, that would be, that would be something. All right, so anyway. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they're gonna add microtransactions that affect gameplay into the game? Do you think this is enough proof of that? And uh, what do you think of uh, loot boxes? Do you think they're gonna implement those? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, click those buttons. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.